Oh my God, it's Joseph Joestar, and welcome to Craig's Corner Videos. Studios. Videos! <laughs> uh, close enough. <laughs> Another year, another convention. But the weather was, well... If you live in Washington, chances are rain will be raining down in your parade. Today's rain was a lot, but not like a downpour or something like a shower. As said in the last SacroCon trip, I would reserve a hotel room, and thanks to a very special someone along with my temporary job with stable income, I finally scored my own hotel room. Just like PAX West, SacroCon decided to make like a dong and expand. Like, there's a new area that opened, so it's not just the art building everyone knows, so I'm gonna check it out later during day one. Here's a quick Craig advice. Remember your 11s. You don't get it? Well, let's break it down. During your convention trip, be sure to get 7 hours of sleep, three meals a day, and one shower during your day. Seven plus three plus one equals 11. No, seriously, people will skip out on this, especially the last one. I beg of you, please be a decent person. Wow, there is a lot of people here. Inside this new building, better than being upstairs, I guess. It's been nearly 20 minutes. 20 minutes is definitely worth the wait. Badge pickup. I can't wait. Luckily, I'm only one person, so it's gonna be really quick. Whew. Whew. 20 minutes. It really takes uh, a lot of time out of you. So, so right here, right there is the convention center. So there's like this one part over there and another one over there. But the one I was talking about um, yesterday, right there, that's the summit. So that one is also going to be part of SoccerCon. So the, I'm going to be, of course, being going over here and I'll probably see what's going on over there. I just need to find the map and everything else. I really want to know what day I want to start off with. Skibbity bop up, what is the up? It's uh, day one of SakraCon and right now it's like 6 something a.m. It's only like maybe when we hit 7, 7.30ish, I, I don't have the time with me right now. It's still, it's still dark outside. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably like take a shower first and then I hit some breakfast. 
because my uh, very special person I was with, I got to go to the executive lounge, so I might get some breakfast over there. Yeah, I probably would. <sighs> well, it's gonna be a good day, but it's also gonna be rainy as well. It hasn't been 15 minutes and I am already sweating through my favorite cosplay. Either I have a disorder where my body temperature is unable to cool down, or the convention center is way too hot. Then again, mask regulation is still in use. I am a heavy breather, mostly because of weak lungs, and the mask is making the exhaled air very warm. Right now it's 8.30 and nothing big is happening so far. Opening ceremony starts at 10 so I could go back or just wander around. I went with the later choice mostly because I could get some people to take photos of me. Was I right? I was. Then again, I never really knew what the opening ceremony is since I've been there for like many years back in 2018 and I never even bothered going over there at, at least once. There's nothing really to do than just waiting for 10 a.m. But there was a free cosplay photography booth over there, so why not be the first? Which I was second, but still one of the first few. Just when things look great again, I got sweaty all over again. How? Well, one of the cosplay I went out involved silicon breasts, and dear god, it was the one responsible for making my body get really hot. So I made like top surgery and removed them, which is ironic because the character that I'm cosplaying as is Bridget. Guess there's not a lot of people today. Then again, it's not even 10 yet. It's not even 9. Maybe I should just go back to my room. Yeah, there's not a lot of people here. After I got a drink and a quick lunch, I headed up towards the Seneca Plaza in the back took some selfies and met a lot of cosplayers like myself. As promised, I went below ground in the summit to find the expo that was originally was in the arch, but is now taken by the art booth. Because of the expansive room on the ground, the shopping rows and corners is probably half its twice the area size back in the arch. The signing areas were merged rather than being in certain areas. And because of my awesome recognition of being the best Poketuber that doesn't do constant speedrun nuzlocks on Pokemon ROMs from Fire Red, I got a boot for myself. If only that was a thing. Wow. That's a lot of long voice. Hmm. Nah. I would never replace my other long boyfriend. Now, uh, round boy on the other hand, I wouldn't mind an upgrade. Okay, maybe I should stick with the others. Wow. So many swords. Hmm. I wonder what sword would look great for me. Try, man. Is that a it's cane? A, uh, blue, I got two a cane sword, can you believe that? Anything can be passed up as a sword these days. Next thing you know, you're telling me a giant stick is a bazooka. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah. Anything can be a sword these days, can't they? Around 4 p.m., I changed from Bridget to Froppy for the My Hero Academia group photo. Even though there were a lot of people, this is Friday, so people don't have all the time and enough time to get to the plaza in the back. Another thing to point out is the one other froppy who came but left shortly. So in the end, I was the only one to sing in a sad croaking tune. Hey, hey, there's always tomorrow. Mario. 
Hello, Mario. Hey, everyone. It's the end of day one. Well, it's not actually the end unless you're like part of the expo where all the merch and the art gallery is. So, I mean, there's some panels and some other stuff that's going on late in the night. And because I booked the hotel, I can stay a little longer. And I mean, I guess there are some places are good, but remember, this is Seattle, so late night Seattle, yeah, it might be a little risky. I think I'll still stick by in the, the, the Apex, the Arch. Also, I noticed something about the Seattle Convention Center, that ever since the summit was made, the Convention Center over there is now called the Arch, so now there's two different places. Yeah. So while I'm waiting for uh, late night stuff to happen, check what I'm having for dinner. Seattle rule of milk. Hey, sushi milk is good, don't judge me. So right now I'm in Wejimaya. These are the things I'm gonna get to tonight. A couple of sushi, some sea seafood stuff, a couple of juicy milk. Something that'll last me probably maybe a couple days. Maybe somewhere tomorrow, I guess. So, so right now I'm kind of on a little break. I'm in a, uh, the nearby Wajimai right here. This is like the food hall, food court and everything. So I'm just gonna go in there and uh, probably get like some dinner, something to eat, I guess. Okay, so I got my dinner. I'm probably gonna head back to the hotel and uh, probably gonna have a go see the rave over there. I've always wanted to go there, but all of my bags that I had were too big and I didn't have a hotel back then. So I'm gonna see what I could do. <laughs> Normally I'd say goodnight, this is day one of the end. But I think it's going to be really fun seeing what's gonna happen tonight. Unlike the last time, I never really knew what went on in the night. But besides the panels that really weren't up my alley, I found something else. Rave Shadow Legends. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, just, just a regular rave. Dang, this is a really big line. I have never went to a rave in my entire life, and from first-hand experience, it was very fun if my legs were in full control. My mobility is garbage, but raising my hands multiple times was a workout. I have a thing called misophonia, which means certain sounds and loud music can get me very irritated and my eyes aren't well comfortable around flashy lights. Ironically, in this scenario, it's all right. Another Craig's advice about raves or EDM festivals, if you're epileptic, don't go at all. And since this was a convention, doing drugs is very bad. Even in regular raves, it's still best to say no to drugs. Finally, stay hydrated. You will be dancing a lot. 
and I heard that there's a thing called a hydration pack, so it's kind of like a backpack with a canister inside. You know, today was a pretty good day. I did not go into any panels since I kind of want to know what the whole arch and summit was like. It's not bad. Not, not bad at all. It's uh, gonna get used to, and I got a feeling that uh, PAX West, if I do go this year, which I know I will, it's going to be, um, there might be some, uh, uh, sorry, there might be some changes, but nothing usually stays the same for a long time. So, uh, I'm kind of a little exhausted from the little rave, I got some water. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Unless there's a whole bunch of rain coming. This is Craig signing off from day one. It was the second day of SakuraCon. There were some clear skies to rainy skies and back to normal. The weather really couldn't make up its mind today and probably tomorrow. Today I thought I could go shopping down the summit and see what I could get. There were, to be honest, I'm not into figures and other goodies and other doodads out there. Mostly I want to meet other people and get photos taken. If you saw my last SakuraCon vlog, I dressed up as Froppy, and this year, all three days had a My Hero Academia group meetup. So why not do all three? Unlike yesterday, there were a lot more people joining and it took place inside the building rather than in the back outside. Mostly because of rain, it will happen again. Who did this? Who There is like a giant line from there to here off a giant escalator. I guess they're like getting a lot of people out. It's been like several minutes since uh, I came here. There's too many people here today. It has still been like over four minutes and there's still not a lot of people going up. All of this for a line for 15 minutes. Oh, come on. Well, well, we're finally on it. As usual, Saturdays are more jam-packed than yesterday. With the summit being very wide and used, yeah, it still felt crowded. I was sweating with all of everyone's body heat around me. After waiting several minutes for everyone to go up to the escalator, it was only a mere moment for cosplay chess to start. I have been thinking of trying it out next year. Would you watch me? Also, please note that I didn't have much space in my phone to record, so I only got a few, and some were mostly revolving around Frankie from One Piece. That dude is my favorite Straw Hat character, okay? I'm pretty sure there's other... I think there's like some videos 
that shows cosplay chess SakuraCon 2023. You you can look that up yourself. Oh, this is gonna be good. I hope it's a lot better than last year. Actually, last year was pretty good. Let's see how this year stands out. I really like this one, but I had to mute this one, mostly because Miku music usually involves copyright. One thing I wanted to record was one battle, but it got turned around only to be a surprise engagement. If those two are watching, congratulations, you make a really fine couple. There's a sense in the air. Yes, something powerful resides within you, I think. Oh, yeah, that would be like magic. I would it. Magic? Is that something like a sound? <laughs> like I'm doing right now? No. A power oh. within you that manifests your soul. Oh, um, I guess if that's what you need for it, yeah. I have magic. I have a stand. Okay. <laughs> you and I could rule the world. Oh, that's 
a friend of mine who makes not nearly as cool whole lot of stuff as this. Do you have your elbow seizing up all the time too? Because mine is always really nuts, especially up here in the north of the community. I can kind of creep over. That sounds like you need a bit of a cat. Do you want to take a closer look? Yeah! Oh, perfect. Here, no, go ahead. Just a sec. Skibbity bop up, what is up? I'm gonna be ending day two of SakuraCon by having an interview with one of the people that I managed to find during SakuraCon. And uh, even though she didn't want it to, she decided to uh, give a little second chance. So why not let's give a, a, how would you like to be called again? I like to go by Froppy, but most people call me Tsuyu, but it's mostly Tsu. Okay. Froppy it is. Oh, I, uh, hold on. Let's see. Ah, check this out. I found this little froppy beanie baby. Well, it's, it's more the bean shaped. Oh my, that is extremely adorable. Well, I mean, you are very popular. And, uh, I do believe that there are some people who actually did cosplay as you. I'm sure you've heard about the giant meetup or group photos for your series? I happen to see a lot of photos from many people who dress up as all my friends. And villains. There is someone who was dressed up as me and... T-posed? Yeah, uh, T-posing to you. Hmm, I wonder who's responsible for that. I told you not to call me that. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? This. <coughs> oh, uh, uh, hey, 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 whoa, 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 Yeah, I think I'm gonna be signing day two from now. Thanks, Frumpy.
Take a good look. This is the last time I'll ever see uh, the convention center for a little while. Maybe PAX West. It's Sunday, but there's no rain. Well, it's almost 10. I'm gonna have to get out now. All right, let's do this. Let's go, final day. And it is raining. Dear God, I should have brought an umbrella with me. Boo. It's the final day, Sunday. Yet there's no sun today, just clouds and rain. Since it is the last day, might as well buy some things to shove in my suitcase. The number of times people like my Bridget cosplay? 52. Number of times people wanted my picture? 34. Number of selfies with me? 7. And the number of times people liked my Froppy cosplay? 24. Number of times people wanted my picture? Loads. Number of Capri Sun drinks I received? 1. True story. Thank you, random Froppy fans. So, what did I get over there in the expo? Some plushies, got to meet special people, and convinced Xander Mobis, the voice actor for Joker and the Smash announcer to sign... something. I'll, uh, I'll show it to you at the end of the video, so please do stick around at the end of the video, okay? And I ended a major My Hero Academia photo shoot as the only Froppy again. Remind me of the first day where there was a Froppy, but there was... well... She left and I was the only one there. It was sad. Can you bag? Uh, yes please. Good! How this? It's going pretty good! How is it going for you? Not bad, a little bit but... A little bit, a little bit what? Baited? F faded in the hole? <laughs> You know what? Because of your, your uh, unhinged game, right? Like the unhinged in public game? You can just keep uh, crazy ass of games in your mouth. Maybe you might have been a baby while he came Fulcrum! Fulcrum, game! Come in! Yo! Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, it's like this! Fulcrum, come in! Ah, you again! Feel me? <laughs> Listen, man, have you ever even drank a Budweiser? That's true. What? What? Lucky's beer? I've never even heard of that. What is that? It's like a Oh my god, it's a Canada thing. Holy shit. Okay. We're now into the 4 p.m. time zone. The lines are now getting longer than ever was. So, what's in the closing ceremony? Well, they're mostly just highlights of certain things that happened for the last three days. Best AMVs, skits, cosplay contest winners, pretty much anything impactful. 
Also, down in the, uh, what would you call it, the comment section or somewhere in there, I'm going to show you a playlist of all the AMVs over there, so if you want to watch them, go ahead. I bet you're all wondering when we get to do this again. So, uh, let's see. Uh, well, it's official. The dates for next year's SakuraCon is March 29th through the 31st. We're already less than a year away. So, no. don't forget. Wait, March? Whoa! I'm March. to start planning again. Yeah. This will be awesome. Can't wait to make both buildings even better. Yeah, that was pretty good. And I just wanted to thank everybody for caring for everybody around them again, wearing masks, making sure everybody stays safe, making sure we minimize concrete and everything else that's going around here, making sure that everybody just helps everybody else out. I guess that leaves only one more thing. We practice on Friday. Are you guys ready? So do we need to practice again or are we, are we just good to go cold in? Again! Okay, we'll practice. All right, one more practice for 2023. Let's do so this. So this is just a quick warm-up. Again, it's one, two, three, and then bonsai, 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 as loud as you can because I don't want to do this again, and then we can do the real thing. Ready? One, two, three. Bonsai! 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 I like that. That was good. Okay. All right. For now the real for real, let's finish it off. This is the real deal. One, one two, two, three. three. Bonsai! 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 Thank you very much, everybody! Thank you, Sakura Khan. We'll see you next year. As always, job's done! Uh, now back to the hotel. Well, that's that. But the most unusual thing is next year's date. Normally the convention always ends on Easter on April, but March? Really? Then again, this is normal for Easter to be on March, so it's a bit earlier than usual, but also the first. So besides the next date and reusing the summit, what else should I see for next year? Maybe entering cosplay chess or bringing a friend over to share my enjoyment? From anime, to games, to anime culture, I mean, <laughs> Asian culture, sorry. In my opinion, you should join us next year. Well, this is it. That's the end of SakuraCon. I guess I'll see everything here in uh, PAX West, but I don't think I'll be booking a hotel since I'm not going to be staying for long. Well... All good things come to an end, and uh, 
I'm gonna have to check out of the hotel in a Monday morning. Normally I'm supposed to be heading back home, but uh, I guess today's a little bit different. Now I gotta have to edit the entire video all at once. So it's gonna take me a little while. for every time Craig managed to get an autograph from someone who was working with JoJo, I'd have two nickels. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's kind of impressive how he managed to do it twice. So, um, is he like a big fan of something? Yeah, pretty much. He kind of, uh, Pringle, can you stop doing that, please? Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's quite an enjoyer of the series. Hey, long boy. Hey, Julio. I'm back. Oh, looks like my autographs came in. So, did you have a lot of fun? Oh, yeah, I did. I managed to get a lot of video clips, and I kind of need you to help me edit. I tried to do some editing in the hotel room, but I kind of need your help. Sure thing. And, long boy, you cannot believe what I found during my trip. What did you find? I found... a truck. You found a truck? Yep. Did you take a photo of it? Better. I took it to this house. You mean you brought the truck here? I brought the truck here. How much did it cost? Five dollars. Craig, a truck cannot cost five dollars. Yeah, Longboy's right. Vehicles cannot be that cheap. Unless it's something like a part of a truck. Maybe, maybe it could cost like five dollars. Oh, what kind of truck did you get anyway? Well, I was kind of thinking of showing Longboy what it's like. Oh, you're gonna show it to me? Yeah, it's in the garage. Come on. Okay. Um, Longboy? Longboy? Um. Eh. Well, I mean, I wasn't really planning on moving much. My legs are kind of tired. Hey, uh, can, can you, can you get out of the camera? Okay, this better be good. Alright, check it out. Oh. My. Goodness. Yeah? What is that? Donkey Kong truck! Huh? Well, you did say it was five dollars, right? Hey! It's not the price! It's the quality! That looks like something you'd find at a Chinese wetland bootleg store or whatever. Okay, that was mildly offensive. No, it's not! Sure, sure, it's really goofy, but... It's priceless. Come take a look around. Okay, okay. Um, Craig? Yeah? What's this on the back? Oh, let me read that for you. Xander Mobis, Donkey Kong announcer. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Xander Mobis. Yep. The guy who does the Smash announcer. Mm-hmm. And the Persona 5 Joker voice actor. Mm-hmm. Cost me, uh, $45 for him to sign it. You spend $50 just to ruin his day? Yes. Well, I mean, I'm a content creator. What am I supposed to do? Did he say anything about that? Well, he told me that it was like, this is an abomination, this is so cursed, I can't stop looking at it while chuckling to himself, and he told me not to upload it on the internet. You're gonna upload this on the internet, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm gonna be uploading this on YouTube. He never said, Craig, don't upload this on YouTube. He didn't say that. Ah, Craig. Oh, come on. You gotta admit, it's pretty funny.